Hello and welcome. My name is Robin and you're watching a Robin Reads. Today I'm going to do something very different and um, I'm going to do my November TBR. But I'm not going to choose it. My brother is actually going to choose it. And we made a video a couple of days ago with him choosing my TBR. So I will insert that a um, little bit later. But first I want to talk about some other books that are uh, on my TBR for November. Uh, because those were already my plans, sort of. So I'm going to talk about those. So the first thing I want to talk about is that I'm going to sort of participate in a readathon. And that readathon is a non-fiction November. I myself am yeah, a sort of fan of non-fiction and I want to read some more. My brother actually chose a couple of them, um, as you will see in the video. And I want to read five, so uh, I um, picked out two myself. So the first one is this one, Scotland um, made by Lonely Planet. And this is just uh, a travel book about Scotland. And yeah, just with a lot of information and stuff about it. And I've um, bought this a couple of years ago and I'm very interested in Scotland. So I thought, why not read this um, and have a sort of a holiday. Then the other book that I'm going to read is this one, uh, Father by Carl Ove Knausgaard. I'm not sure if it's the same title in English, um, but I will link it down below. And this is the first book in the My Struggle series. I've talked about this series a couple of times because um, it has been on my TBR for this year. And I'm finally going to read the first book. And this basically is an autobiographical series uh, from the author. And this one is probably about his father. Uh, so yeah, pretty excited about this. Um, it is pretty long, but we shall see if I get to all of these books. Probably not, but we shall see. Uh, then, also a series that has been on my TBR for quite some time, and I just really am excited to start it. That is this one, the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. I put this one on my 10 authors to read uh, list. And the first book is The Eye of the World. I have all these um, editions. I got eight of them for free, actually, and a couple of them I bought. I still need two of them, uh, but I'm just going to start it and then see if I can get those two. Uh, but yeah, this series is basically uh, an epic fantasy series. I don't know what it's about, but I've heard that it's um, a bit the same, sort of, or in the vein of A Song of Ice and Fire, which, you know, I really loved. So I'm very excited to read this series. And again, I don't know what it's about. So excited to find that out. Then in my Dutch book club, um, we are doing something else. Um, yeah, just one month we do book club picks uh, just every month one. And um, but they also want to do something extra. So they wanted to read um, book to movie adaptations. And the movie June is, uh, June is coming out in December. I think it's already pushed again to another time. But um, yeah, we just would like to read this book. So I'm going to read the first book, June, in... Uh, I'm not sure what the series is called, but I think the June series by Frank Herbert. Um, this one is the Dutch version. My father owns all of these. And yeah, I'm super excited about this. This is a uh, like high science fiction series. And um, I don't read a lot of science fiction, but I really would like to. So this, I think, is a good start. Um, not super sure what it's all about, but we shall see. Then the last book I want to mention is one that my brother actually bought for me like last year. So I really would like to read this, but I keep forgetting. Um, but I'm finally going to read this because this is sort of sort of his month, uh, and that is this one. It's basically a, a Spider-Man comic book, a Dutch one, um, and it's called The New Beginning. I'm not sure where it is in the Marvel universe, but yeah, we shall see. I'm super excited about it, um, and yeah, just the artwork 
is already looking very, very nice. I think it's a little bit the same as the movie Into the Spider-Verse, if you've seen that one. But yeah, I'm going to see uh, what it's about and if I like it. And yeah, those are all the, what is it, five books that I am putting on my TBR. Um, and now let's insert the clip of my brother choosing my November TBR. Hello! So, this is my brother, as you can see. Hi! His name is uh, Dan. Hi! <laughs> and he is going to choose my TBR for this month. And I have 10 prompts that I'm going to yeah, ask him to fulfill with the books over here. It's a bit of a mess, as you sort of can see, because I need to change it up a bit. But, let's get started. Are you ready? I'm totally ready. Good. Let's go. So the first prompt is uh, choose a color with at least three books. Okay. And I made a little bit of a list beforehand because it's sort of difficult. Um, you can choose between yellow, orange, gray, purple, pink or black. So as you can see, yellow, yeah. orange, um, Grey, purple, black, and pink. Yes. And you can choose three books for uh, in that color. Okay. Take your time. I can cut stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to choose orange. He is choosing orange. Okay, <laughs> which books are you going to choose? So, orange is a nice and lively color. Yes. But the books are a bit harder. So this I one. I hope I hope they can hear us right. But first book is this one, The Other Hand by Chris Cleave. Yes. Nice and bright orange. Old school. Yeah, it doesn't have a dust jacket. Old school books. And it's a Dutch book. Yeah. Mm. This is a collection of short stories. Well, long short stories. <laughs> it says it on the cover. Yeah. This one? This one. Because it's old school. Um, this one you can translate as like the Night Walker by um, Marion Fredriksson. <laughs> and not like Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, that's the White Walker. <laughs> yes, and this one. The big one. I'm gonna make it easier for you. <laughs> easier, yeah. He's making it very easy for me and choosing this one. The Grand Book of the American Long Story, edited by Richard Ford. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the next prompt is choose a reread for me. Reread. So, the books that I have already read. And those are the books that are moved backwards, to the back. Yeah. And you can choose from the bottom shelf, but you can't choose A Song of Ice and Fire or Hannibal Lecter because I've recently read those. Okay, okay. Take your time. Oh, oh no. That one? Yes. <laughs> so, he chose another very big book. <laughs> Why not? And that is uh, The Book Thief. Thief by Marcus Susak. I have read this in quite some time and it's a historical fiction. Good pick. Next one. And there's a movie. And it's a movie. <laughs> so the third one is choose an on-haul book. So as you guys know, I'm doing an on-haul project. <laughs> so get rid of it. <laughs> to get rid of books. So he's going to choose from my palm. 
So I have that pile over there. <laughs> so you can choose from these books. Uh, and I have a co the these here and these. Those look like the girly uh, romance books. Uh, this one is actually like a mystery thriller. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that one is a romance. <laughs> yes, and those as well. <laughs> okay. And this one is more of a literary fiction book. All right. So one. Yeah, you can choose one from the pile or. So these are all Agatha Christie collections. <laughs> I can see that. And as you can see, I have also just normal, three normal books for her. Do you still want to read those? Well, yeah, I, I'll, I want to read all of those, but I don't really like the look of them. Oh, okay. So if I've read them, I just want to get rid of them, but I still want to read them. Right. Okay. Small one, because I've chosen a lot of big ones. Okay, good. Okay, he's chosen a small book for me, <laughs> because he's kind. <laughs> uh, it's The Big World by Arthur Chapin. Next. Um, choose a book that looks interesting. I'm not sure what it's about. They look like poems from the Canterbury Tales and just a lot of other. We shall see. <laughs> it sounds like. So I'm going to read that? Yes. Okay. Do, do your best. So, this one <laughs> looked the most interesting to my brother. Uh, this is the first volume of the Oxford Anthology of English Literature and um, it's medieval English literature and this is the smallest one so that's a good start it's um, over 500 pages so <laughs> that's that one so the next prompt is choose a book from my currently reading shelf that I need to finish so my currently reading shelf you're on right now so uh, Dan is going to look at the books and we will come back when he chooses one. Okay, Dan chose this book, uh, The House of the Mosque by Kader Abdullah. As you know, I've started this book um, some time ago and I'm going to finish this. He told me that he read a part of it for school and he said it was very interesting. So therefore he chose this one. So the next prompt is... Choose a book from my library shelf. So my library shelf I uh, don't have there anymore. I put the books on my desk. So I will show them to you quickly. And then he chooses one. So these are all of the five library books that I still have from the library and haven't read or aren't currently reading. And uh, he's going to choose from this pile. So Dan. Uh, was a bit debating between these two, but he decided to choose this one. Um, let me see if they have the English title. Yeah, it's just called The Bees. And basically this is from the perspective of bees, so very interesting. Yes. So the next prompt is choose a book from my TBR jar. So I made two TBR jars uh, because of a reason that I'm not going to share. Uh, secret. <laughs> and um, one of them is uh, books that are from the library and that I'm very excited about. And the other one is big books, so over 400 pages. So which TBR jar do you want to pick a book from? The library jar. Okay. Go to... So this is my... Library TBR jar, you have already seen this if you follow my channel for a while. And uh, he's going to choose one of the books that are in here. Yes.
Okay. You can read it out to us if you want. Man, so should I say more than that? My sister, the serial killer. Okay. By uh, <laughs> Oyekin uh, Braithwaite, I think it's. So, uh, a lot of people will probably know that book, and it's short, so that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, next prompt. Uh, choose a book from a series. So I'm going to go back over there and a little bit explain what the series are, and he will choose one. No, I just made my choice. Okay. This one. That one. Okay, Dan chose this one, The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. I'm not sure what the series is called, um, but yeah, very excited about this one, and I just really like this book. So, good choice. Next one. So, uh, as you might know, it is non-fiction November, and I want to participate in that, so I'm asking Dan to choose two non-fiction books for me. Okay, Dan chose the two books for me. The first one is this one, Mud, Sweat and Tears by Bear Grylls. And the other one is Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. And yeah, pretty excited about those. I have one to read this one for quite some time, so exciting. Then the last one is a big question, sort of. It's Choose books for a challenge video. So you guys know that I do challenge videos and uh, I want to do one in November as well because I think it's just fun. So I'm going to give him some options. I'm not going to say it to you because that will spoil it. Uh, and he is going to choose one. So Dan chose a book, uh, a challenge for me. And the challenge is that I'm going to give a book a second chance. And that book is going to be The Hunters by John Flanagan. This is, I think, the third book in the Brother Band series. Uh, I didn't really like it, but he chose for me to try it again. Because he has read the series and Derek likes it. But yeah, that's going to be it for Dan choosing my TBR. So, thanks a lot. You're welcome. And it was a pleasure having you. <laughs> I and, liked uh, it, I liked it. Good, maybe a second time next year or something, we shall see. <laughs> so, bye. <laughs> bye. So, I really hoped you liked um, this sort of different November TBR um, thing that I did. And I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I was very surprised to see what my brother picked uh, because he picked like way different books that, than I thought he would. So that was fun. And um, yeah, I'm just super excited to read all of these books for November. Please let me know down below if you like this video, if you want to see maybe my brother more often uh, doing this uh, for me. And yeah, um, I really hope you like this video. So please give it a Thumbs up, comment and subscribe and I'll see you later.